This morning, a crisis driven by an explosion in our world's reliance on plastics. NBC's Carrie Sanders is at a recycling center in Pembroke Pines, Florida, with a twist on a problem that we have been hearing about for years. Carrie, good morning. Well, good morning. This is a mind-boggling statistic, but the EPA estimates that we as Americans produce about four pounds plus of garbage a day, and much of it, plastic, which is set aside here for recycling. But this plastic sometimes gets broken down in what are called microplastics, which is a problem we're only just beginning to understand. Sunrise over the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to head around the point here up into Boca Ciega Bay. We're with researchers from Florida's Eckerd College. Just want to make sure that we're not tangled in any way. Casting nets, not for fish, but to study something we can't easily see, microplastics. Yes, there's microplastics basically everywhere in Tampa Bay. Microplastics the size of a pencil's eraser or smaller. Well, there's some plastic right there. You can look out here and you don't see plastic, but yet it's all around us. It's no surprise plastics litter the oceans, but it's how microplastics enter the environment that may surprise you. That fleece washes away microplastics with every load. A tire's wear and tear deposits rubber, but also tiny bits of plastics onto the road that eventually drain into waterways. Even your toothpaste includes them. 43.779. Researchers here found Tampa Bay is littered with four billion particles. There's probably a particle per liter. One yeah. particle, a one particle piece of liter. microplastic yes. per that bottle of soda that I have at home. Per yeah. that container right there. Is Which that is, a lot? Yes, that is a lot. It's not until the samples are brought to shore, mixed with reactive agents to luminesce, that the microplastics under a black light glow like stars in the Milky Way. All those little particles are? Microplastics that we collected today. Wow. And I could not see it out there. Nope. Wastewater treatment plants are often the last line of defense. What is all this? So this, unfortunately, is all the unflushable items that people put down their toilets and their drains. And if you didn't capture it here, this might become the microplastics out in the Gulf of Mexico? Definitely. If there's larger pieces of plastic in there, they could be broken down into smaller pieces, and then that will become the microplastics. If the plastic is in the ocean, is it making its way into the fish? We know for sure that microplastics um, are being mistaken for food by the, the smallest organisms. And then the next level up in the food chain, and so it will end up on our dinner plate. Is that plastic gonna cause me a health problem? We don't know, we're still trying to figure that out. Microplastics, the smallest big problem that's hidden from view. How bad's the problem for our diets? Well, one study suggests that we're eating the weight of a plastic credit card every week. Guys, if you wanna make at least a little bit of a dent in this problem, sort of like a recyclable bottle, one that you can use over and over. A reusable bottle is probably your best first step to making a dent on a problem that, like I said, we're only just beginning to understand. Yeah, Carrie, your live shot really underscores how important this is and also underscores the fact that they're still learning about microplastics. Yeah, no doubt. Four billion particles in Tampa yeah. Bay alone. Carrie, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.